Hey you guys, what's going on? It's Rick with Rick's Toy Room and we've got a massive unboxing today. So um, I wasn't expecting this box. I knew it was coming, but I didn't think it was going to get here today. Um, so we had both shipments from Entertainment Earth and Diamond show up. Uh, so I want to crack these boxes open and get right to it. Um, first and foremost, if you are still collecting the Dress Park Matchbox, uh, we've got a stack of these in. Got a couple cases of them. Uh, this, I believe, is Wave 4 of the Jurassic Park uh, Jurassic World Evolution Matchbox. So here's the first one that's going to go through here. Uh, these bad boys have the Ford Panel Van, which looks like it's all bloodied up. We have the Mercedes Bog Unimog. I think we've seen this in one of the earlier series. But nothing too spectacular there. We've got some more Jeep Wranglers. I think these Wranglers are new. These are Jeep Wrangler number 10. These don't have the tops on them. They're missing the roll cage. And it's got like the uh, like high panel toolboxes on the side. So I think those are new for this wave. The white Jeep Wrangler, the 18. So there's the Jeep Wrangler with the hard top. Don't know if that was on the new wave or not. I'm gonna have to go look at the wall and see what I've got on. Got collected. Uh, the Textron Tiger. I think this one is new for wave four. And then again with more of the classic Ford Explorers number four. And here you go. Now you can see how bad Matchbox takes care of their product. Like I used to blame Walmart and Target for this. This came straight out of a factory sealed box. Um, Mattel just did not care. I mean, look, they don't even actually fit in the box. Uh, you have to put them on top of the bubble to get them to fit. Uh, it's quite disappointing, actually. I won't open the second case of these up. I have them. Uh, I ended up with two cases of these. They're absolutely identical, so we're not going to open those up. Uh, but I did get in some cool statues from diamond or from entertainment earth actually and these are uh, i don't know i've been in i've been back in this like peter pan disney kick recently of course peter pan captain hook the pirates check this out so this is the disney showcase collection disney traditions now you will see these typically at uh the the Art of Disney at Disney Springs, uh, the Disney, I've already opened this one actually earlier, um, Art of Animation normally has it, and then uh, you'll find it at uh, Disney Marketplace, Disney Springs, you'll see them out there. Uh, these are by Nursco, and this is... The Captain Hook and Peter Pan Disney Showcase Collection. Statues. Now again, I'm a huge Peter Pan fan. I'm a huge uh, Disney villain Captain Hook fan. Um, it's just a really cool piece. I'll probably put this in the guest room. My guest room is fully decorated as Disney. A lot of the people that come down and stay with me for a week or so, they're normally here to go to the parks. So it's just a nice little themed room that I do. Um, I've got a Beauty and the Beast snow globe in there. I've got tons of art from um, tons of the art from uh, Festival of Arts that Disney normally puts on. But yeah, so that is our Disney pieces and our Entertainment Earth unboxing. So we got some Matchbox and statues, and this is the De Venus and Daring. Devious and Daring statue pack. So those will be up on the site uh, later today. Um, try to get those up. But that is not the stuff that I'm excited for. So first off, I got this big monster box here. And inside this bad boy, we have um, what was a last minute buy for me. I... I saw these up. I didn't hear anything about them ahead of time. Found out they were coming out and was like, I need to buy these. 
and I bought them because they were, uh, oh wow, there's a lot of stuff in this box. So, a few things I didn't know I was getting. Uh, this was obviously a buy because I'm just a huge fan of, we have some more Super 7. So, if you uh, have been with me for a while, you saw the Super 7 San Diego exclusive Cobra Bats in like the neon 90s colors. And then now we have the regular Super 7 Cobra Bat and the animated feature covers colors. So it's the black and yellow Cobra Bats. Um, these normally sell really, really well. I will have these up tonight as well. Those are super cool. Um, I totally forgot that was just going to be in this box. So yeah, total surprise shipment. Um, I normally don't go crazy on the Super 7s. Um, I know I've got all the Super 7 Silverhawks in, the Super 7 G.I. Joes. I want to get into this line. Um, I'm already a few behind, so collecting all these might be a little difficult, but we'll get as many as we can get our hands on and get them listed and sold. I do, like, I'm not a fan of Super 7. They're three-inch quarter figures. I think they look like trash, but I am a very big fan of the... <laughs> I'm a very big fan of the Deluxe uh, Ultimate figures. They did a really good job with those. So, this sold as a case. Do not break. That's for Diamond to know. But check these bad boys out. Already, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the way the box is done. Street Fighter crossed over with Transformers. So this is the Ryu and Bison Street Fighter Transformer crossover. Check that out. So Bison is in Psycho Crusher mode. Ryu is in Fireball mode. And then on the back you can see... Is that Uncle Dusty? It's Uncle Dusty! So we have the infamous house guest... Dusty! He's in the crib. We're here this week on vacation, so he's helping with the unboxings and helping with all kinds of crazy crap. But check that out. Ryu Bison. Ryu in Fireball Mode. Bison in uh, Psycho Crusher. Bison is Megatron, and Ryu is Optimus Prime. So you've got an Optimus Prime in Ryu colors, a Bison as Megatron in Tank Mode. Um, it looks like they can both be transformed doubly into fighter jets so that's actually pretty sick um i actually like that but that's not the only one we got oh, like five boxes of crap in here all right let's see what's in this one but wait there's more oh yeah but wait there's more you're an idiot <laughs> um here are more gi joe cobra bats more ultimate bats because you cannot have enough cobra bats and there are like two more cases of transformers in here which is scary because I only thought there were four characters. Uh, uh, let's see what else is in here. This box is too big. That's what she said. <laughs> I'll beat you to it. All right, so here's another case of Ryu versus M. Bison. I'm not going to open those. We'll put those aside. But, uh, <laughs> sweet. Uh, this set, now I'm very kind of disappointed, but I'm not... Like, it looks like Capcom only licenses their most, most popular characters. So, the last box was Ryu and Bison. I'm also disappointed in the color scheme in this. It has the exact same color scheme as the other box. This one has a case pack of four instead of two. And... Ah, it's caught. Ken and Chung Lee. So, Chung Lee is in spinning bird kick mode. Ken, again, doing... Uh, actually, he's doing his dragon punch pose there. And Ken and Chung Lee turn into RC and Hot Rod. Check that out. That is sick. I'm, I really want to open one of these and transform them. Um, I don't know. What do you think? I think hmm. these are cool. Let it roll. Oh, dude. They're expensive. I don't know if I could open one of these, but I love the box art. 
if you see this, they yeah uh, they use the original Street Fighter two uh, profile photos of Chun Li and Ken. They use some of the Super Street Fighter artwork from Super Street Fighter four. Um, yeah, man, these these are cool. These are cool. I'm gonna have these posted really really fast today. We'll get these up on the website. If you do decide to open them and transform them, I want to see a video. I may have to do it just because. Um, I'm not a fan of opening my toys, Tell obviously. Tell us down in the comments. Tell us if you want us to open it. Or we'll open it. Yes. If I get... How many how many comments do we need? We've got a few thousand subscribers. You get 100. If I get 100 comments saying to open this, we will crack one open on video. We will transform it. And that's what we'll do. So, there you go. There you have it. That is the shipment from Diamond Enter Entertainment Earth. That was this week's unboxing. Uh, short video... If you guys want any of the uh, Matchbox uh, Jurassic Park, let me know. I'll sell you a whole case or a case pack of 12. If you want to look for a couple, let me know. We'll make a deal. I have plenty of the Treat Fighter Transformers. I have four Ryu and Bison, four Ken and Chung Lee. And then looks like two, four, looks like I ended up with five of the Cobra Bats. So if you guys need the Cobra Bats, let me know. Otherwise, they're going up on eBay tonight. The Transformers are going on eBay. And then I'll throw all this crap up on the website. And, uh, Make some purchases, guys. Let's hit those numbers. Oh, oh, wait. You know what? There is one more thing. I forgot. I'm going to, if they're in this box, throw in a bonus for the Street Fighter purchases. So, there is one thing I forgot that we got in. Now, these are street dated, technically. But they're not actually for sale. But. But wait. There's even more. You're an idiot. Okay. So these boxes are super heavy. Um, oh god, I can't even lift them up. Let's see what's in this box. That's what she said. Oh dude, um, I don't remember ordering these. Three comic book day comics have arrived. Um, I've got close to probably. 20 to 100 of each of everything. But here is Crime Buster. This looks like a wannabe Spider-Man. He's got the red and blue going. Uh, yeah, this kid looks like a wannabe Spider-Man. So we have Crime Buster in. Let's see what other comics we got. And we got cases upon cases of these. Um, Crime Buster, Crime Busters. Here we go. We have the fabulous... Fury Freak Brothers. Fabulous Fury Freak Brothers. Like folks, I'm not I'm not I can't make this stuff up. I don't know how this stuff gets published. Um, I will have to read this, but it's rated T for teen. I'm the Fabulous Fury Okay, cool. Alright, so that's Fabulous Fury Freak Brothers. Let's see what else we have in here. Ooh, now this one is gonna be a good one. This one is, how many copies of this did I get? Too many. Check it out. The Nightmare Before Christmas, The Battle for Pumpkin King, Free Comic Book Day, Battle for Pumpkin King, Nightmare Before Christmas. Some of these covers are exclusive. Some of these have not even been released yet. So this will be the first time the public has seen some of these covers. Uh, Battle for Pumpkin King. Fabulous Fury Brothers. All right, let's keep going. Uh, we have a lot of this. I probably have 20 to 30 of every single free comic book day cover that's coming out. Uh, they sent like five boxes of these things. Through two, two big boxes with multiple small ones inside. We have the gra a graphic memoir by Pedro Martin, The Mexi Kid. So there's that one. Uh, this one is rated probably E for everyone. Uh, they got a little like, I don't even know what we got, what we're saying down here. Uh, poignant and laugh out loud funny. All right, well, cool, cool. So there's that one. Let's see what else is in here. This one might actually do pretty well. Uh, da, 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 da. Now some of these I bought mainly for the marketing of it all. God, I can't get these books out of here. Try not to damage nothing. Oh. All right. Oh. All right. 
Next book. This is a, looks like Teen for Teen again. Titan Comics, RuneScape, Untold, Untold Tales of God Wars. So RuneScape has a free comic book day coming out. Uh, well, that's kind of cool. I like the map inside. Character designs. All right. So this doesn't look as much as a comic as it is more like a companion guide. Artwork of the characters. Oh, there is some, there's about three pages of comic in here. And then like a weapons guide in the back. So that one's actually pretty cool. Not the one I'm looking for, but pretty cool nonetheless. All right, let's hear. This was more of Crime Buster. More of Furry Freaks. Okay, here we go. This one may be of interest to some people. We have the I Am Stan graphic biography of the legendary Stan Lee. So this one might be pretty cool. Um, okay, it's like a really, really quick short story of Stan Lee and his time with Marvel. And there looks like to be some stuff about DC in here. Sneak peek of the first graphic biography. Okay, this one's a sneak peek. Sneak peek of the first graphic biography of Marvel legend Stan Lee from Eisner-nominated comic creator Tom Sicoli. Saga continues in I Am Stan on sale September 12th. So this is like the first part of the I Am Stan graphic novel. You want to take a look at that one? Check that one out. That's pretty sick. Uh, then we have some little kid ones in here, which, okay, you know, it's free comic book day. I can't complain about those. Let's see what we got. Ooh, that one looks like it might be interesting. Uh, we have Dogman and the League of Misfits. So this is a Scholastic. This is for our younger crowd coming out to free comic book day. So we've got those all set up. All right. Looks like Captain Underpants. It looks like Captain Underpants. Probably is his cousin. Um, looks like we got some manga action in here. Let's see what we got here. That one's going to be popular. Uh, all right, so we have a Gojun X story and art by Shui Inshada, also featuring an excerpt from Rooster Fighter. Uh, this is from the creator of Tokyo Ghoul. It is a new manga. All right. Rated teen and your typical manga artwork. All right. So that's cool. That's by Viz. That one's interesting. Just put those far over. This one will pull a crowd. Still not the one I'm looking for, but... Oh, no. There's one that's going to be worth some, some stuff you want to go hunt for, guys. So, free comic book day. They are releasing a Conan the Barbar Barbarian. Uh, Conan's getting a free comic book day book. So that is out and about. Uh, I've got about 20 of those bad boys on hand. So that's cool. I'm not a big Conan fan, but I know he's kind of like the base for He-Man, etc. But this one should be one to be hunting. Now this one, they've got all nice and packaged up. There's more copies of Kojin. Alright, two more files in this, in this box, and then we'll go into the next sub box. And there's like two giant, giant boxes of these more Kojin. Those are all cogen, so we've already seen that one. All right. This one is probably going to be the, the keeper. Spider-Man and Venom. Well, this one, there's always at least one or two free comic books from Free Comic Book Day that end up being worth a small fortune. And I'm thinking that this might be one of them, especially with the new Spider-Man movies coming out. But Spider-Man, Venom, Free Comic Book Day... Check that artwork out. Um, looks like it's got some... The full future. The future is full of carnage. The new Spider-Man 299 is being promoted on the back. And with Spider-Man 2099 getting its own movie, I think this comic may hold up. I can't tell if this is design of the artwork. Yeah. There's like... A, looks like some kind of like blast that's coming through the line work there. But that is Spider-Man Venom number one. That's going to be free comic book day. I expect that one to be a pretty big, a pretty big hit. 
All right, getting into the next pile of free comic books. Let's see what we have here. All right, rated A for all. Oh, this one is a preview of the new Netflix series coming out. Mech Cadets. First issue of this. This is going to be a preview to the new animated series. This is A for all ages. Um, kind of has a Transformer feel and look to it. Got a kid with his robots. Could be another, uh, what was that other one? Uh, Hero 6. That one looks interesting. All right, Image has some books that they threw out here. Let's see what Image has for us. Oh, snap, we got a couple good books in here. Show that one off here in a second. This pile, what's in this pile? Um, this one may not be for everybody. We'll see. Another Netflix special. So, we have Image putting out the Sacrificers. So this one is, I don't know, looks interesting. A uh, bunch of alien race knockoff Guardian of the Galaxy, maybe? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. So there's that one. All right, let's make some room. Then we have a Shaman King Flowers. All right, this is another manga inspired book, it looks like. Also featuring Welcome to Demon School. All right. So here we go. And typical manga fashion. It opens from the back like that. Uh, da, 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 da. It's all black and white. And again, it's featuring an excerpt from Welcome to Demon School. Then, you know that Disney was going to get in on this. How dare they miss a, a chance to self-promote. But... Disney Plus has this special on the Disney Plus channel. Marvel Spidey and his amazing friends. It's got the small, toony versions of Spider-Gwen, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, and what appears to be some bionic spider. But this is all the hit characters from the Disney Junior show. And then, of course, a little ad on the back for Disney Junior web glowers. So, a couple Spidey comics. We're still digging through the boxes. Uh, da, 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 that was the first shipment. Then, let's get into the second box. Try to keep some of these together. I have to reorganize these shortly. And we need a box cutter. Alright, so this box should have a couple ones that I was really looking forward to. Diamond credit, they do a really good job at, at packaging their uh, their books. All right, now this is another one that, in light of everything, probably will do really well and will be the one to hunt down. So, it is Ranger Academy. It is a Power Ranger book featuring what looks to be the new upcoming Green Ranger, Red Ranger, and White Ranger. Uh, I expect that this one would also probably pull, uh, I don't know, it's an all-female cast Power Ranger, the new book, when, and especially with the fact that it's all the green logo in light of uh, Green Ranger, obviously, his tragic demise this year, last year. Gotta love the dogs. All right, uh, more Power Ranger... This one is an Archie comic, so this is for your classic comic, your classic, classic comics. We got a lot of those in here. Um, the Cursed Library. So you've got Archie doing a scary comic book, The Cursed Library. Dusty's trying to look at the comics, but we know that he can't read, so. <laughs> it's a good thing that there's pictures. Good thing there's pictures. The Umbrella Academy is getting another book. 
So they are doing a uh, comic book for free comic book day. This also features The Witcher. So Dark Horse is pushing up some towards the end. There's some Witcher stuff in here. So Dark Horse is definitely pushing The Witcher and Umbrella Academy. So that's pretty solid. Uh, da, 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 da. That was from the last box, but those there. Looks like Marvel may have a new series coming out in, in May, it looks like. What's Marvel pushing out? Spider-Man 2099 Dark Genesis. Yes, and they're getting a new movie. So the next Spider-Man movie is going to be Spider-Man 2099. So I've got a few issues of the original 2099 out in the uh, the collector closet. And I'm probably going to get those graded before things get crazy. Alright, next on our list of free comic book day comics. I feel that this is not my full order. I feel that we're missing something. Next is a exclusive 10-page preview of Brianna Tumblr's Lights, but this is Omni Press doing Punch Up. So another manga. Uh, this one looks. I mean, some of the characters. I mean, okay, hold on. Are we looking at the front of this book? Take a look at that. Are y'all y'all looking at the front of this book with me? Tell me what you notice. I've got a Capcom knockoff like a mug up in here. So you got your boy. Uh, Roland from Final Fight and from Street Fighter Five. They trying to knock off Thundercats. Thundercats. You got this knockoff Lino here. You got uh, you got some of these like knockoff Mega Man looking enemies up here in the red. Like some GI Joe guy in the back. Yeah, like, dude, look at this like knockoff Ninja Turtle, bro, over here in the corner. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus T Rex, <laughs> Karate Rex. I mean, homeboy here, a bootleg Ryu. Like, come on, man, what y'all doing? I don't know. I've never read the series, but I'm just going to talk junk about their covers. <laughs> All right. Then we've got 2000 AD Regend. <laughs> Regend, okay. The best comic book ever. Uh, All right. So there we go. The best comic book ever. Uh, Department K promoted on the back. All right. What is Department K? Oh, those are some Judge Dredd looking interdimensional investigators. Again, what's up with the bootlegs, bro? Look at this knockoff Judge Dredd shit. Dog. All right, all right. Let's see what else we got in the box. I don't know what I'm looking for. Oh, I still got a whole other box. Never mind. I'm like, there's something missing. It's more of this bootleg punch up. Oh, okay. Here's one of the ones I was looking for. One of the reasons I wanted to buy and get into some of the free comic book days. This one's going to be one of my favorites. Come on, get out of here. Is this whole one's right here? Man, I don't know how many of these I ordered. Way too many. Mad Balls versus Garbage Pail Kids from Dynamite. They are giving away a free comic book to help push this. This is already on issue like five or six. Um, I've got the first three issues and all the variants on the website. But this is one of the ones I was looking forward to. If you guys make any purchases of Madballs vs. Garbage Pail Kids comics from the website, I'll throw in the free comic book day ones automatically. Those are kind of cool. I like those. Uh, let's see what else we got up in here. I think the rest of that pile was Madballs. Uh, oh, looks like there might be something below it. Let's blow it. Okay. Now here's another one that will probably be uh, the actual... This one will go really quick. So Star Wars The High Republic Adventures, also featuring Avatar The Last Airbender. That's a combination, folks. But Dark Horse is doing a new Star Wars. It wouldn't be free comic book day without a Star Wars book. Kind of shocked they didn't go something Boba Fett. But, you know, I'll give it to them. And I think that pile is the rest of Star Wars. It is. Okay, let's see what's on this side. All right, on this side we have more of the best comic book ever. We've already seen those. Best comic book ever. We've already seen those. What's this one? Okay. So we go back to the Archie fans, or at least the Archie-style designs. This one here for your ladies out there, Sweet Valley Twins, the graphic novel. So we've got ourselves some... Olsen Action, exclusive expert from Teacher's Pet, poster and activities inside. So they're going all out to promote this one. This is Francine Pascal's Sweet Valley Twins. 
All right. And then below that, we go right from something all nice and what looks to be semi-wholesome to bring out the beef. Um, I can't even tell what this says. Rave. What the hell does it say? Something verse? Can you make that out? So, looks like a good call out to uh, Conan, some of your fantasy series, like Raviverse, Ritiverse, Rayetoverse, Death Dealer, Enter the Norseman. Uh, yeah, oh, here it is. Frazettaverse, number zero, first printing. So. The word to the wise might want to... Uh, this one is not rated for teen. I'm not going to show the first two pages of this book. Um, this is not one that I will be probably openly giving away on a table somewhere for uh, a free comic book day with a bunch of children around. But then there's also a Frank Frazetta's Mothman. is a subcomic in here. Uh, so they're promoting two in this book. But yeah, the first page is definitely not for children at all. Actually, I don't even think Dusty should be allowed to watch the, read this book because he's going to uh, be in my bathroom a lot. Okay, so that is Frazettaverse. Let's see what else we have up in here. Okay. Next is Seismic Stories. Prelude to the Darkness We Brought Back along with Animosity All New Story. So this is a Seismic Aftershock Comics. This looks a little hellish. A little uh, demonic. We're going to visit some random... Not my gig, but whatever. They're, they're available. Free comic book day there. Alright, let's see what else we have in here. This one may do pretty well. Uh, this one I know has a really good following. Again, this is not really for the kids. But we have Dynamite's Red Sonia. This is a teen plus. Red Sonia has a huge following. Nice to see that she's getting a free comic upgrade. Help push that. That's not too bad of a book. I've never actually read it, but I know the character. So she's out there. All right, so that made it through box number three. Let's get into box four. Uh, da, 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 seismic, seismic. More Star Wars. All right, so we'll organize these back here in a little bit. All right, so what I'm really, really looking for to do is in this other box. Well, I was saying how I'll diamond pack my comics and then... I take this one out and it's all trash. This isn't even a full box. All right. Um, Investi Gators. So this is definitely a little kid's book. John Patrick Green. This looks like something you'd see on Nickelodeon. This is your Scholastic stuff again. Uh, Scholastic didn't make this one, but definitely your, your younger crowd. Super big tech, super big panels. The sneak peek of All Tied Up. All right. And then, this is only half my order. This isn't even, this is not even near half my order. Because I'm missing some really, really important books out of here. Wait, what's down there? Not what I'm looking for. All right, so then, Paper Cuts has did a 55th anniversary of the Smurfs. So there's a new Smurfs free comic book day. And then we have, out of this shipment, last but not least, not the ones I'm looking for, were Tom Holland's Fright Night. So we've got another horror book that has dropped. It is another scary movie. Tom Holland, da 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 da, da. Fright Night. Da, 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 da. Cool. A lot of reading of that, not a lot of comic art. All right, so quite disappointed. This is only like partial of my order for free comic book day. Um, what's missing is there is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one that's coming out for free comic book day. There's a Street Fighter Zero that is coming out for comic book day. Um, and there's a handful of others that I bought. I bought like 500 comics for free comic book day. Now, 
normally you get these books at a comic store. You'd go in, the comic store has laid out on the table all the different books, first come, first serve, you know, one per customer, one of each title per customer until they're gone. I don't have a physical store. So I've got a couple options for these books. One, any purchases made all throughout the month of May will get a random free comic. I will throw one or two in the boxes with everything you purchase. Other options are I'm going to uh, maybe have the HOA put these up in the community room and let all the kids in the neighborhood get them. I've offered them to a friend's church to uh, host up a free comic book day at his church and take these comics. A few of these he will not take, obviously. Um, but we'll see. We'll, we'll figure out what we're going to do with them all. I mainly purchase them to be able to get on the list of free comic book day websites and stores that are participating. So I had to buy a particular amount to get my site listed. So it's promotional as well as um, to get access to the free comic book day t-shirt and the free comic book day Funko Pop, which I've seen other companies now offering, which is kind of stupid to me, but it is what it is. So that is the unboxing. This went a little bit longer than I expected. I was only hoping to do maybe 20 minutes. Forgot about the comic books, so we went through them all. This is the first showing of all of the free comic book day covers. Like I said, the Street Fighter and Turtles covers I'll release when I get my hands on them. Uh, hopefully they'll be here in the next couple weeks. So with that, guys, deuces. We'll catch you later. You know the drill. Like, share, subscribe. And let me know if there's any of the comic books that you're interested in. If there's any specifically you'd like to have in your purchase, I will throw them in your box. Again, they are free, so uh, come and get them. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.